Hi guys, Max here, and welcome back to another Premiere CC 2015 tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we are going over my Jeopardy skit. So basically, I had to shoot a skit for work, which includes a host and three contestants. So we have a shot right here with three people, three podiums, a robot, well not three people, but two people, a robot. Yeah, pretty straightforward, um, nothing too complicated, but if you don't notice, this shot was actually filmed three separate times because we only have one podium at work and that's how I had to do it and make it work. So to give a little context, here is one of the original shots that I will quickly open up for you guys that was filmed at a 4K resolution and yeah, so this was her slate, all her bit, then we filmed it again with his bit and then we filmed a slate with the robot and I composited them together inside of Premiere and that was about it. So uh, let's get started and I'll show you how I did it. Sweet. So first off, we need to open up Premiere. Already open. Here's our three different clips of the shot. The, uh, the robot, which was just a 32 second slate. Um, the male contestant, all his part. And the female contestant, all her part. So um, yeah. So what I would do um, is new sequence to get started at 1080p at 24 frames a second we can call this composite pretty straightforward click OK yeah so what we're gonna do is start importing these clips so I wanna start with the guy on the far left first we'll drag him in put him on the bottom layer V1 then this clip on the second layer it's a lot shorter than the others because it's just a slate. We don't need the audio. Um, and then we're going to import the final clip, which is on top. Now, in my original composition, these are all aligned in a very specific way to match, you know, the, the script and stuff. But for this tutorial, we're just doing the compositing, so it doesn't matter. And there was a small clip of me right here. Oh, there I am. Okay, good. So we're just going to line these up. Since they are 4K clips, we need to scale them down to the size of the composition. So we're going to go to Effect Controls, Motion, Scale, 50, to scale it down. Then we can copy this motion tag and paste it to the other ones. And take a look. Perfect size. Next up, we need to find a place in the middle clip. Right here, I've hidden this layer to freeze because I'm walking in the reflection, which is a no-no, and we don't want me just walking around back and forth in the uh, final edit. So right about here, I kind of hide behind the thing. I think right here is perfect. We'll right-click, add frame hold, delete the first part, move this back, and extend it to the rest of the composition, and boom. It is a full piece for the middle. Cool. Almost towards our final step, we're going to go to effects right here. If your effect panel is closed, go to window, effects, it pops it right open, type crop. Drag your crop tag onto your top layer, then drag another crop tag to your middle layer. We don't need it on the first layer because it is the bottom slate. So on the top, we're going to take the left crop and we are going to cut it over just like this. I think right about here is good. And then on the second layer, we're also going to take the left crop and move it over. Right about here is good. The girl that is showing right here, we can move it over. Then what we'll do is take the edge feather. We'll feather the edge a little bit, make it blend in. That is pretty much perfect. And then on this one, there's a cord right here that is pretty annoying. But we're going to get rid of it. So what we'll do is click on this. Click the marquee pen tool and go to 75% view so we can quickly take this and draw around it just like this then we're going to click inverted on the mask go back to fit then grab these little anchor points and just kind of move it over like this just so it goes away now that looks there's a little bit of an edge right there but nothing anyone will ever notice 
cool so I think uh, this has been cropped it's it looks really good let's go ahead and open up our original video to see what we're missing if anything and right here we can go ahead and see that we're missing the black bars really simple fix now normally you'll see in here people will crop the actual video image whatever to make it happen but what I do is I create a PNG with Photoshop of black bars that are the correct ratio for any video I want and drag it onto the timeline as its own layer and now we have black bars they're set up to a higher resolution for larger resolution videos but if we scale it down to 75 percent it will fit perfectly and I will link a tutorial in the, in the description below on how I actually create these 2 by 2.39 by 1 bars to fit perfectly now let's take a look at our original video again to see if we're missing anything else um, no that's about it um, obviously there's been a lot of color correction going on in this clip but I am going to save the color correction portion of this tutorial for a later tutorial this was just for compositing so yeah that was pretty much it um, really easy really simple not much going on very very straightforward to quickly composite three stationary shots together to make them as one and that's about it well, I'm Max thanks guys for joining me I hope this was helpful please like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot and really encourages me to make more so thanks and um, I'll catch you next time in the series on the Jeopardy video and just to give a little context on what else I'm doing if you're curious I will be doing a full color correction or coloring of this video we will also be doing the compositing of the robot screen onto the robot also we'll be going over how to actually make the robot animation so it should be pretty cool and finally we have a shot in here that does three laptops with the matrix screens so we have to make that too so stay tuned I'll be posting more and more so uh, yeah like I said like and subscribe and keep in touch thanks guys peace